Hey guys, what's going on? It's October EMP. If you haven't already heard, the Mac App Store has been open with 1,000 apps already inside of it. It is pretty cool. I've been browsing around and looking at the different applications for about an hour or two now. And I downloaded Angry Birds and Twitter and a couple other things that seem to be pretty cool and work pretty well. There are, I did see a couple bugs and a couple problems in a couple places um, that I'll let you know about during this video. This is going to be somewhat of a long video, so I'm just warning you. I'm just going to go ahead and open up the App Store now so you guys can check it out and I'll show you all the different sections and so on and so forth. So as you can see right here, it says iPhoto, iMovie, GarageBand. Those are all things that already come with your computer, so when you see them in the App Store, it's going to say installed, and um, that's obviously something you don't have to worry about, but that will really explain, like shows you how in depth and involved these applications are going to be. It's, it's more like, you know, really involved software. It's like it's like a software store and you no more do you have to go to a store to buy your program that you need to do something. You can just come here to the Mac App Store. Maybe not right now, but eventually once, you know, it's expanded to, you know, even a fraction of the size of the iPhone App Store, the iPad App Store, then, you know, it'll be pretty amazing. and You'll be able to pretty much need get anything you need right here within the Mac App Store if you have a Mac. So I'm just going to scroll down so you guys can see this is the featured section of the Mac App Store. This looks very familiar if you um, use iTunes on a Mac. This is just what it looks like exactly. You can see a couple of games and programs that you might find within the iTunes App Store. Right here you have iMovie and Kino, all things that you can find, Enigma, Twitter, Pagel, The Incident, all these are all things, Harry Potter, Lego, these are all things you can find within the iTunes App Store for the iPhone, the iPad as well, Angry Birds, obviously, here we go to the top charts, and obviously Angry Birds right there at the top, you got Twitter for the top free ones, and then top grossing down here, you have obviously probably the most expensive app in there right now is the number one top grossing 15 ratings by Aperture and Angry Birds is number three and Flight Control HD there was an article a while ago about how this was going to be released when the App Store was open Pinball so that is the top charts go over to categories same types of categories I'll go click on games And here are a bunch of the games. Here are the new games that are just coming out with this App Store. I don't really recognize any of these games specifically. Maybe Solitaire, but I'm not even sure if Astroware Solitaire is in the other App Stores. You scroll down and see what's hot. Uh, Osmosis, that's a big game for the normal App Store. The Incident, Pinball, these are all things. Uh, Pac-Man, Pagel. Very cool, very... Uh, very nice. I played Angry Birds. I'll show you after four, but it is amazing. I have a 27-inch iMac, and it, it's really nice to play on. Like it, It's just really cool. It's huge and really clear, really nice. No distortion with the size. It's it's really smooth. Come down here. They have Splode. I didn't see that before. They have Splode, which is a really cool game if you haven't, guys haven't played that. Really nice and soothing game to play. And that's that for the games. And there's also these two sections, obviously, for updates and purchases. It'll show you what you bought um, or purchased, and those will, that's where your updates will be right over here. I don't believe I have any apps up to date, no. But that's the Mac App Store. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the applications. So right here, let me drag this to the middle, you have... Let's make it a little bigger. This is a Twitter client. So here we have all of the different people that I follow right here and my little icon. And this is really nice. Some you know, just what you'll expect for a free Twitter client, all the standard things that you need, but it's right on your desktop, it's right on your computer, you know, you no longer if you're at home, you no longer have to, you know, go to your iPad and it's funny because that's the same thing that you were saying when uh, the iPad came out, it's no longer do you have to go to your computer to check Twitter, go to your iPad. But now when you're on your computer and you wanna you know swipe through Twitter quickly, you can just go on to here, right onto your desktop, and you can use one of these Twitter applications from the Mac App Store and look through everything really quickly, just like, like this. It's very quick, very nice, very smooth, looks very cool. It's not big, and it doesn't 
automatically go to full screen, but you can change the size right down here for the length. I'm not really too sure if you can change the size wide, but I press the plus button up here and nothing really happens, so I'm guessing that you can just change the vertical up and down size of it. But that is the Twitter, official Twitter client for the Mac App Store. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Angry Birds now. now this is kind of overwhelming, so let's watch out. There it is. It's huge. So here it is. Angry Birds. I only played a couple levels, but we'll go. I'll go to here to the fourth level. So how you play this is, if you have a mouse, you're just going to want to click your finger on the mouse, drag it to wherever you want to go, and then you can move the mouse to determine where you're going to throw it. And you can let go, and that was a horrible, horrible throw. But you get the point. You just click, pull, and let go. Yeah, that was a little better. But it's really nice, it's really big, it's really fun and cool to play on here. Really bright and colorful. You kind of have to sit back to play it because it's so big, especially on this kind of screen. It probably won't have that same problem if you're on a, on a laptop or a smaller size screen. But it's kind of overwhelming to play on this this big screen. And you can't, I haven't figured out exactly how to make the screen smaller. I figured out how to do it on Chopper and to exit out. You just got to go to the menu and press quit. Pressing the exit button doesn't work. So there we go. Just exit out of that. And the last one is Chopper 2. I'll show you guys a little preview of that as well. Uh, this is really nice. Um, I found this game also very soothing to play. Just the background and the music and the environment. It's really nice. It, granted, it is somewhat of a shooting game. But it's, it's, really, it's really nice and well done. And it's only 99 cents right now. And I believe it's on sale for the opening of the Mac App Store. So, you know, check, go check this out. This is Chopper 2. I'll just play this really quickly for you guys. Now, to go up, you're going to want to press W. To go to the left, you press A. To go down, you press S. And to go the other way, you're going to want to press D. And right now, I'm on a mission to go and help some people. And to shoot, what you're going to want to do is hold down the key, or hold down the mouse, and then you're going to drag the mouse like that to shoot. And you're going to want to avoid any birds, because birds take away from your health, and they slow you down as well. And the, slow, the lower to the ground you are, the better, I mean, the faster you go. And there you go, that's, that's what you have to do in this mission. You have to kill those guys. You just follow the arrow right there. And then it'll give you some instructions on what you have to do just like this. And I don't know if you agree with me with the whole soothing and really nice and smooth landscape. It's just really nice to watch and play. It's not really a adrenaline pumping game. It's more of a nice, quiet play for a few minutes to relax game, I think. But so to finish the mission, I gotta go over here and go to the landing pad. And if I wanted to, I can get some repairs done. But I don't need any repairs, I guess. So I can go keep going to the next section. And I go up the hill. Eventually, I'm going to go in to be at a tower right there where I have to just kill certain people. I can't kill that civilian down there in the light. As you can see, I killed them with my blade. I guess that's possible. Now I'm going to come down here and rescue the civilian. And I'll go back up and finish the mission. But I'll exit it there. In this game, you can press exit and it'll make it smaller, just like that, which is nice. I haven't figured out how to do that with Angry Birds, but it is cool that you can do it with that. There is a time limit right up there, but I just did that so you guys can see what it looks like and how these games are ran. It's ran just like any other game that you might use. If you don't have a joystick, you you know, you have options. There are different options that you can use. If you have a mouse, um, you can use it, I believe, to control it somehow, but I use the trackpad um, just specifically. I have my mouse stowed away somewhere, so I don't use that as much. 
But I thought this, I mean, the Max App Store right now, I think it's great. I think it only can get better. The, you know, the apps can only improve. Everything can just, you know, everything's going to expand and get better. And I really think this is going to be, you know, maybe I'm being a little bit too enthusiastic about it, but a revolutionary thing for computers. I, I, I just think that to be able to go to a specific place on your desktop to get all your software is going to be an amazing feature for any person wanting to buy a computer, you know, why buy any other computer when you get all your software in the same place with, a, with an Apple, with a Mac, with an iMac. It's just really a great idea. So that's it. I hope you guys like this video. Go check out the Mac App Store if you haven't yet, if you have a Mac, and that is it. Make sure to comment and subscribe and like, and I'll talk to you guys later.